Hello, welcome, Cavenger. Uh, let's have a look at Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. And then uh, this kind of crept up on me, but this is uh, day 555 of my uh, account here. And uh, usually I like to do every uh, 50 days uh, with these uh, box show and tells. Uh, I just slept through this one. Uh, but 555, that's kind of a uh, fun number, so we'll stick with that. Okay, but first let's look at uh, my characters. And then as of uh, my recording of this video, uh, three batches of the seven stars uh, have been released here in Global. Um, so I'll talk about um, whomever catches my eye. Uh, first up is uh, Squall. Uh, he was one of my first uh, seven stars. Uh, for some reason I was super lucky and I pulled three of him very quickly, just with like tickets, I think. Um, I've kind of stopped using him. <laughs> It's too bad, but I just feel like he doesn't do enough damage, um, just as a, a solo damage dealer. Um, probably his uh, Super Trust Master would help with that, um, so hopefully I pull a fourth of him uh, soon. Um, I do like his four skills, though, that have the elements in them. Uh, the Flame, Thunder, Wind, and Light. Um, those are nice, um, especially if you need to use multiple elements uh, during a uh, fight. Uh, next up is Ace. I love this guy. Um, he is fun because he can do lots of different stuff. And then depending on what you need for a fight, you can give him like different roles. Um, like defense or MP battery or um, elemental and perils. Uh, he can also do damage now with his uh, tri-beam laser and then his limit break. Um, I've leveled up his limit break to 25. I'm considering going to 30, but it's pretty expensive to get up that high. Uh, he's already very usable. And then um, one fun thing that I've been doing him is to finish uh, Knight Delita Mercenary Ramza chains with him. And uh, yeah, that's, that's a pretty fun thing to do. I have the timing all down perfect and everything. Um, I also have three of him, and I would love his Trustmaster. Um, attack and then magic go way, way up. Um, and this is also good for Light Veritas, who I have also enjoyed using lately, so... Yeah, I don't know if I would go as far as using select tickets to get him, but I would very much like a fourth ace. Uh, next up is Lunith. He's kind of in the same boat as uh, Squall. Don't really use him too much these days. Uh, King Leo, I am still using, and I am a little surprised about that. Um, he is a provoke, uh, like, counter tank. And then um, I recently got the seven star of Mercenary Ramza, who also provokes. And so I thought, that's the end of uh, King Leon. Uh, but they work well together. I can use uh, Mercenary Rams as a magic tank, and then uh, King Leo as a physical provoke tank, and they work great. Um, I'm very proud to say that I have uh, maxed out the stats of him that I want to max out. And uh, yeah, he's good. Um, he kind of taught me the value of passive provoke. Uh, he's got 50% just in him naturally. Um, so you can give him a few items, and then he'll reach 100%. And then he doesn't even have to do any actions uh, to draw attacks to him. And that's been super useful. Um, he can draw, like, uh, flare attacks. I give him some fire resistance, and he takes no damage. Um, he can draw, like, uh, Berserk or Charm, and it doesn't matter. He just keeps provoking, because it's just passive in him. He's awesome. <laughs> uh, Prish, I did max her out. Um, but I haven't really used her, and I don't intend on using her. I think she, her potential really gets unlocked if you get two of her. Um, but I have two of Leela, and they do everything for me that I need. Um, so yeah, even if I pulled two more Prish, I don't know if I'm going to use them. If you are a fan of Prish, though, that's awesome. <laughs> uh, next is Mercenary Ramza. Uh, he was the first character that I ever used uh, select tickets on. And uh, that uh, decision has turned out to be very smart. Um, he is my uh, kind of main physical AoE cover tank, and then also a magic tank. And then, um, you know, the magic tank, he's got that, um, that caveat where if he goes down, uh, he may not be able to put this back up uh, the next turn if he is raised. Uh, but that hasn't really caused me to lose any fights so far, um, so he's been fine. Uh, probably as we get later into the game and there's more and more damage, um, this will be less uh, viable. But for now, it's just fine. 
Uh, very good in the uh, Chamber of Arms. Uh, but yeah, this guy is pretty awesome. He's got Entrust, he's got a little bit of Breaks, uh, he's got, uh, you know, so many uh, resistances to elements and status effects and everything. He's just really good. And then uh, one of my favorite things about him is his uh, chaining ability, Raging Inferno, uh, which chains with uh, Knight Delita's Ra Raging Inferno. And then uh, what Knight Delita is, is he is a uh, breaker. Um, if he's wearing his armor, he can break attack, magic, and defense. Um, so that's almost everything. There are some situations where I still want to use a 6-star Lid, because Lid, she breaks spirit, and then she also AoE breaks. Um, so in those cases, I want to use her. Uh, but as much as I can in other cases, I want to use Knight Delita. Uh, but yeah, because he can chain with Mercenary Ramza, um, that sets up like my finisher really well, um, so I can get the uh, quadruple damage there. Uh, when I do use Knight Delita, he can... Um, or I give him a lot of LB fill stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, that gets his limit break up almost every turn, uh, which he doesn't need every turn even, so he's great. Uh, one funny thing about him is that I can get his attack really high, and I can show you that right now, actually. Uh, there was that Valkyrie profile thing where we can get the Angel Slayer sword, and then a Knight Delita, he likes two-handed weapons, and he also likes swords. Um, as far as I know, even in JP, there's only one two-handed sword in the game, and that is this one. Let's give him his uh, Trustmaster. And armor. And then he's got 50% um, innate true double hand. So if I give him everything I've got, that will get him to 300%, which is awesome. And then he's wearing the sword and the heavy armor, so I can give him Dark Knight Soul, and then we'll just give him a random 40%. All right, over 2,000, that's awesome. <laughs> um, I haven't uh, given him any attack pots yet. Um, I still have a bunch of other guys that I wanna give that to, but uh, yeah, that's pretty funny on Night Delita. I have half an eye on the uh, parameter challenges, which are coming hopefully soon, um, and Night Delita may be one of my candidates to go for that. Okay, but moving on. Uh, next is Flame Veritas. Um, I'm kind of using him. He's only really good for... Uh, he's only good with fixed dice, uh, the way that I have his equipment set up. Haven't used him a lot. Uh, Light Veritas, on the other hand, I've been using a lot. She's awesome. Um, she and Ace are my only 7-star uh, magic users. And then she's also one of my very few like AoE magic users. Um, and then her Saint Buster is really strong. And um, I can actually one-punch most of the guys in Item World. And then also um, uh, like King Mog events and Story events. Um, so yeah, she's very awesome. Lots of Slayers as well. Um, I'm debating if I pull two more of her, if I want two of them to chain together, or if I want to go for her Super Trust Master. Uh, this thing's pretty good, so I don't know. <laughs> and then Ayaka, she's awesome. No more to say about that. Uh, next is Roberta. She is my best damage dealer right now. Uh, and she's part of the reason why I'm not using Lunith or Squall right now. Just because she's so strong. And then uh, my favorite move of hers is the, um, where is it? Here it is, Red Vengeance. Uh, this is her one and only timed jump. Uh, the reason why I like this so much is because uh, it's super easy to finish chains with it. Uh, she jumps into the air, and then the next turn you get that button. When you hit the button, it's like, like a half of a second or like a fraction of a second, you get the hit. Um, so even if you're chaining, like uh, with Mercenary Ramza and Knight Delita, uh, it's not the longest chain. It's very easy to place that uh, hit in there and then get that quadruple damage. So yeah, I love Roberta. She's pretty crazy. And then uh, Zargabath, he is amazing. I'm considering, uh, you know, using him to go through some uh, solo uh, runs against bosses. 
um, just because he can get the 100% um, evade, and then he does so so damage by himself. Um, he's also the first character that I've ever gotten the Super Trust Master for, and I am enjoying this very much. <laughs> Alright, now we'll look at uh, six stars. Probably don't have a lot to say here. I am eagerly awaiting the trust coin system where I can turn in my 100% uh, trust characters and free up my box. Um, although a lot of these, like, you know, base 3 and 4 star characters that are maxed, um, they're good for expeditions. Um, so once I turn in a bunch of guys for trust coins, I may be kind of lacking on guys good for expeditions. Uh, Moogle I still use. Uh, not everybody knows this, but he does have attacks of every element. Um, so he's really good to bring to, like, story quests and things uh, to get those uh, missions. Um, I just pulled Lauren a couple of days ago. That was from uh, some EX ticket, maybe, or something. Uh, but yeah, first one of her. And um, I'm debating if I want to use select tickets to get another of her. I'm pretty good on breakers, but uh, if she's a good chainer, maybe I'll consider her. Some more guys here. I am eagerly awaiting uh, the return of Nier, so I can pull another 9S get a second pod, and then I can start chaining any two guys together, uh, like how I chain uh, Knight Delita and Mercenary Ramza, um, just so that I can get uh, more variation with my uh, team compositions. That should be a game changer, I think. Uh, Yuna I really like. I like that she's a summoner and then a healer in one. Right now I'm really using uh, Rydia. Um, she's really helpful for a lot of uh, missions because she can summon the Esper real quick and then also use magic to uh, get those element clears. Uh, but with Yuna, if I can heal and then also, you know, quickly summon Espers, uh, that would also be really helpful with uh, getting missions in uh, Trials. Uh, Bosch is pretty cool. Uh, I have him ready for 7-star. Um, he can do both the AoE physical and magic. Um, so he may take over the, uh, the magic cover uh, tanking from Mercenary Ramza uh, because he won't be, uh, you know, linked to cooldown skills with that. So looking forward to getting him as well. Uh, Rydia, I use her a lot, uh, even now. Um, just because, you know, she has so many options for, like, elements and spells and, like, doing damage with her summon abilities and her limit break. I'm probably going to level up her Limit Break. Um, it's strong now, it gets even stronger as a 7-star. And then, uh, yeah, she's ready for the 7-star as well, so... Um, one of my favorite characters from one of my favorite Final Fantasies. I'm looking forward to doing a uh, review of her as a 7-star. Uh, here is Lid, she is great. And then I have two of Leela. Um, they are my do-everything chainers. Uh, they can do single target, they can do AoE, uh, they can even imbue themselves with elements. Um, so if in a quest I need to do like an element chain, I can use these, um, even if they're using non-elemental weapons. Uh, they're just really, really good. Um, even when the 7-star uh, form comes around, I'm going to leave them in their 6-star um, so I can keep chaining with them. And then if I pull more Lilos in the future, I can make one 7-star and then I can make a second, and then I can start to think about going for the uh, Super Trust Master. Uh, but yeah, really, really good. Uh, here is Nicole. He is great. I really want his uh, robe. Uh, Rena, I really like. Um, she's my second best uh, healer. Um, there's a few things that she can't do. She can't give re-rays. She can't give AoE re-rays. Um, but she can uh, dual cast. Um, like a very nice uh, Dispel, which gets rid of uh, Stone and Stop. That's really powerful. And then, um, what else is good? Uh, reflection is really good. Um, you can kind of use this instead of a Magic Tank, if your other defenses are kind of good enough. Uh, but this is Magic Damage Mitigation, and then Boost Spirit. Uh, this can also be double cast. Um, so yeah, she's really good. I think she can even be really good as a 6-star in the 7-star meta. Um, just because of abilities like this, you know, fully recover, this is a percentage 
uh, heal. Um, yeah, this crazy Esanaga. And then, uh, yeah, the Reflection again. She's really, really good. Um, if, however, her uh, Prism is available from the Trust Coin system, it's probably going to be the first thing that I get is her Prism. I'm very curious to see what our 7 star is. Uh, Hyo here, I have one of him. I am debating whether I want to use select tickets to get a second of him. Um, I would really like a strong physical chainer that can do AoE chains. And yeah, he is the best right now. Um, I have to do some research. I have to see if there are other guys that can also do good AoE physical chains. Um, I'm going to try to hold off on getting a Hyo with select tickets for as long as possible. Uh, because I actually don't like the character. <laughs> Uh, if I can wait for Axstar, I'll probably do that, so yeah. Uh, Demon Rain, I was only able to pull one of him during Halloween. That's very sad. I do like uh, counter tanks. Um, I have a couple of A2 ready uh, for when her 7-star comes. Um, my hope is that she will become a really good chainer, like on a level with Hyo, um, once she gets her 7-star. And then she'll be my main chainer. Hopefully she gets an AoE attack as well. Um, so that would save me the trouble of having to go after Hyo. Here is Grimlord Sakura. Also very sad that I only have one of her. <laughs> uh, Illusionist Nicole is really good, but I actually haven't used him in a while. Um, I haven't needed that redirect, so yeah, I've been doing other things. Uh, Barbarisha, she is excellent. I would really like a second one of her. Although I don't know if I would go as far as to use uh, select tickets for that. I have two of Explore Eileen. She is amazing. Um, maybe she will also uh, you know, get some chaining on a level with Hyo. I can only hope. <laughs> uh, but as a 7 star, I would hope she gets more innate evasion. I hope she gets more uh, like, a, like a provoke skill or like innate provoke. Um, because she's really good at counterattacking, so yeah, I want her to be more able to do that. And then I have one of uh, Aloha Laswell and Seaside Nicole. I would love seven stars of both of these guys. Um, Aloha Laswell is interesting because he, you know he's a good chainer with a divine ruination, uh, but he also has a, some um, innate uh, evade twenty percent, and then he has some tanking abilities as well. Um, so it could be interesting to try him out uh, in that way. Um, Seaside Nicole, I think, is more interesting, though. Uh, he might be better than the regular Nicole. And then um, he has another advantage. He's available as a 7-star right now. Um, so he would also be tempting to do the uh, select tickets for. Although he's perfectly usable now. He's got lots of good skills. Uh, the one thing that I want from him, though, as a 7-star, is his uh, dual cast Flood. Uh, that would be a nice uh, magic chain to do. Uh, but yeah, that is uh, all of the uh, six stars. I don't think there are any five stars I really want to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, we've been getting a lot of uh, cactars lately, so that's been nice. Uh, but yeah, I think um, that will do it for this video. I was debating whether I wanted to talk about my uh, Trust Masters, but uh, maybe I'll save that for another video. Okay, so feeling pretty good about the game. I'm looking forward to the next batch of uh, 7 stars, and I'll have more reviews uh, for them there. Okay, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.